To make all that we have talked about, uh, you know, kind of to help people to realize how it can be implemented or how it can be come into being, uh, can we talk of how we can implement it or look at teacher education from that angle of Indian thought, Indian philosophy, which we are doing. I think you also did that in uh, so much of training that you did. You see. Uh Teachers are uh, not raw material. They are fairly molded and then they come and they are hired as teachers. That happens before you meet them because uh, they are already half baked or fully baked into another shape, size, whatever. So I think first few sessions with the teachers must be uh, what they think of teacher education. See, we reverse the whole process. So first they have to look at teacher education and supposing they were to uh, find uh, the levels of satisfaction because you will find almost all teachers will complain about something or the other. But we have to not only believe in them but we have to believe that they also want to change and what would make take them as partners in planning instead of planning for them and then telling them. I think broadly my whole position is this that if you want any change anywhere it has to come from within supposing you don't want me to eat uh, pan masala then your telling me don't eat pan masala will give me give rise to so much innovation of how to hide it and to have pan masala unless I believe in it and unless I want to do it it won't happen so no change will happen from outside it will have to have happened within and it has to happen with belief because energy will come with belief and once they know that they have the, your respect for experimentation as well as the fact that you think they are capable of doing it because in Lok Jumbish which was much later we realized that no one uh, centralized uh, planning should inform the detailed planning. The centralized perspective can, which can be shared. We used to do it once a, once a year. Uh, for 15 days we would go to Abu, Mount Abu and live together, eat together, go out together, have plays, etc., music. And in that we learn to know and understand each other. So once we know that they believe that things can change, what we need to do is identify multiple initiatives which must happen simultaneously and in convergence. Not one initiative which will be this. So if there are multiple, there, what will happen in each initiative, it should be in convergence as far as the intent is concerned. The content will have to be differing in various places. So periodically if they uh, share then each one will get a chance to be appreciated and each one will get a chance to learn from somebody else's experience. So regular systematic review and sharing after you have innovated. So uh, in, in totality what I am saying is broad intent has to be shared completely but the content has to be evolved Local, uh, local is not a very good word. Jo, sthan mein jo honar hai, sthan hai, haan, specificity, in the specificity of the area in which you capture. And that has, because it will be shared and because we respect people's initiative, they will do it well. Be, and we lay a lot of stress in various forms of documentation. It could be uh, in words, it could be also in theater. It could also be in a poetry or in artwork or in whatever, whatever way they decide with the participation of some students and some teachers to be shared every six months maybe for two, three days workshop. And that's how it should get cumulative. Bring it together. Uh, and bring it together and that send rather than this way. Rather than from here to there, it will come from multiple. 
like you bring flowers from every place and you make not all together but different forms of collectivity in that form and the modes of expression should also be liberal it should not be uh, where is your report and why aren't the statistics here you know you can ask you can fill in you can become a partner to fulfilling the criteria that you want but nobody needs to be scolded for what you have not done you have to be and generosity has to be in appreciation of whatever little has been done so that your energy to participate and experiment does not dry out i found that that attitude on behalf of the te teacher training institutes is absolutely missing the worst i saw was in kerala the worst they were more regimented more mechanical more absolutely stereotype yeah i was shocked they they did not allow even one min inch of movement in uh, your style and uh, it had to be the same uh, actually kerala really disappointed me it disappointed me in their treatment of women there was more violence in kerala than i ever saw anywhere else ma emed teachers who came for our workshops or whatever uh, we couldn't finish the topic when we were supposed to finish we said another 10 minutes i just like that 10 minute or bad job ye khatam karein she said ma'am i'll be beaten black and blue a girl who is ma teacher she is in kerala and coming out with a sentence i'll be beaten black and blue i put it in my uh, writing I, i i took her i said give it to me in writing because i want some proof she gave it to me and mahila samakya ki jo banayi hai usme humne wo diya hai ye wala hissa in the most literate state in the most oh, it state. is amazing that you know the, if you are doing a scaled work on certain kinds of things the other elements have to be Uh, trivialized mm -hmm. so that you can show the success and uh, for example literacy or health health indicators or whatever they are very good at that but as far as uh, uh, creativity at a mass scale they say it is a misnomer you can no not have creativity at a mass scale you can have creativity at in each home there is creativity but mm -hmm. the way see all we knew is dal must be uh, with chawal or dal must be with roti to fulfill the nutritional demands how the roti is made how the dal is made each home will innovate its own it's each home who taught them nobody they one person will be teaching them one person will be happening getting the provisions and they'll be good at different thing same way as we do it in the homes we do it in school and college so this centralized training should be only sharing a vision and giving opportunity to various people then periodic you must have a continuum of um, ref, we call it refresher like course but you not reflection. it's not a refresher course sharing sharing and reflection ha uh -huh. and reflection so this is the research part and there has to be some professionals who will document the whole process so you need some trained researchers also who may not be good teachers who may not be whatever but they would be able to put it through so that it remains as a, 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 a knowledge which has been recorded you know knowledge which has been uh, put see what are you yeah, doing you are also putting together knowledge recording the knowledge na but how sense. you can record mm -hmm. we can't record and how you can frame the question i can't frame but how i can describe my experience you cannot because you have not gone through that experience so let's pull it together and that togetherness will cumulative hope hoga usse that's what's my dream that richness that that makes everything rich we if we can collectively hope for a better future then we won't be telling lies ke nahi aage to theek hi hoga nahi 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 that is falsehood you have to experience it so teachers have to experience success of this and this is the pattern in which we will go on scale because unless you, i have had this criticism from bureaucracy to researchers to friends to my own cousins 
that it's all right to have an oasis in some desert somewhere somewhere anybody can do great things in small scale but what about these millions of children millions of schools and what but each school has also millions of creators <laughs> why do we want them to be the same then you can say that if you go to bangalore you will get an expertise in that but if you come to jodhpur you will get another expertise on that you can choose why not let there be differences some some schools will focus on games and move everything through that maybe you can teach through music and dancing some other thing like kalakshetra mein wo sab kuch karte hain exam bhi dete hain aur wo bhi i don't know how good it is or bad it is i have no idea i've not been there recently i've heard a lot so you are saying in a way that when even if you do it on scale it can be differential it doesn't have to be that sameness doesn't have but to i'm not saying uh, differential with accent on differences but i'm saying it should have space for different, different patterns, patterns to emerge no. see the words you choose are going to be very important if you say allowing for different patterns to emerge which will be shared which will be critiqued which will be supplemented and then another pattern will emerge at a, another larger scale because each so this process of systematic reflection critical inputs and also appreciation it's not just criticism but it is appreciation everyone looks for appreciation if you don't appreciate then it doesn't work and also what are they going to take to children if you don't give this to teachers you know see the teachers so faces teachers. radiate a lot of emotion if the teacher is sad and unhappy and irritable then the kids uh, only know this <coughs> what can she teach she is always like that but if the teacher is allowed this space to do things differently then the teachers faces will radiate energy i am actually i am a great believer in that it is possible yes see we've seen it in your work I've and wdt yeah, wdt some people's work much more than what i have done i've done very minimal but uh, primarily my forte is to see patterns mm. i uh, i'm not a, a very creative person at all but i can identify different patterns and i can see that this and this together has a brilliant uh, pat, you know sp- yeah spiraling effect hota hai uska but um, i seen in work that has been done around mm. uh, which in which i uh, had a privilege of uh, watching and being a small contributor and a small failure also because and sometimes uh, it has also happened in the name of creating more equality you know destruction has happened in the name of creating more equality and not accepting the fact that they are only trying to see ye galat kar raha hai ye galat kar raha hai ye galat kar raha hai but not doing anything yourself so i have rejected that participation on which uh people uh, you will be surprised out of <laughs> a faculty of 14 one person who did this and said we should get more money for uh, what she's asking us to do so money be see we are working in very very uh, critical circumstances there is this market economy which is actually gripped every sphere and there is uh, escalating consumption patterns demands are more for more and more uh, money whichever way but we must get more money then uh, you the voice of sanity is very soft mm-hmm. we have to make it louder we must we must be many more to say that this doesn't help 30% of people i met uh, in ibm un- uh, city uh, were supposed to be on stress leave there it's a very high percentage seriously it uh main to new york mein thi wo uske pass ibm city hai usme my cousin is working there she is at a senior design thing she gave me this i wouldn't know i wouldn't know what is happening there she said dg you can't meet this you can't meet that because they are on stress leave everybody is uh, making appointments with uh, psychiatrists and counselors and this and that 
now mental health has become such a such a big issue whatever it's not we are not sorting out issues we are creating more and more issues and i think it begins in the childhood right at the beginning so we need to hold hands with respect i think respect is something which in indian intellectual tradition there is one thing even if a guest comes we respect them hopefully we do <laughs> nowadays not so much but it is traditionally yes we respect somebody who pays attention to you we respect somebody who is older we respect somebody who is creative a good painter is respected a good teacher is of course respected a lot we respect material also we exactly we say with that hum to we thank technology also we said take care it is done uh, but i feel respect humility learning they all are go hand in hand are first first cousins <laughs> they should okay. thank you thanks our soul all the best yeah we hold hands and we have and thank you for letting this happen it is unbelievable that it should happen <laughs> what are your concluding statements say concluding statements is that it's everything is possible it is possible it is not a kind of a thing in which one would say don't ask for the impossible you know in uh, uh, alice in wonderland uh, queen says that this would be uh, i think somebody alice says this would be impossible and queen says i do five impossible things before breakfast every day so to sab log sach bolenge if it is is it impossible i don't believe that it is impossible less of falsehood okay still less of falsehood then regret falsehood and then no falsehood go on the stages i think i'll be lenient about it i think we are generally uh, let us be a little little patient with differences and whatever but it is possible if teachers believe that people with different capacities can actually do the same they can learn physics and they can learn mathematics well they have to believe in it, it they have to experience it with to believe in anything i think without experience you don't get reality so you have to experience i a uh, very small uh, thing which with which i'll wrap up today a common common complaint in most schools is ke a uh, science wala teacher chutti pe hai mathematics wala teacher chutti pe hai to ab kya padhe to jo sanskrit padha raha hai usko kaha tum science padhao this has happened many schools i have visited many uh, residential schools and whatever so i had a team who were support structures and it so happened that that person was excellent uh, theater person but he went to a school where this science teacher was not present to tum ab theater kya karoge wo bachon ko science chahiye abhi to usne wahan se phone kiya ki main kya karu main to nahi kar sakta maine kaha tum science padhao to usne kaha mujhe aati nahi hai to maine kaha to bahut badhiya baat hai tumko bhi nahi aati hai bachon ko bhi nahi aate saath saath sikhenge to kya karoge Oh, it was so wonderful. He said, "Arey, ye to bhot acha hai. To wo science ka wo le aaye ki wo kitab bhi le aaye aur sab ne kholi aur usne ka tujhe kya usme kya likha hai usne kya." So the children were also searching from the book. He was also searching from the book. Then he said, "Acha, to tum ek cell ban jao. Tum ek cell ban jao. Let's talk to each other." To wo theater le aaye. Wo to theater har ek mein le aata hai. And on this, he wrote a small booklet. of his experience for me it was i have never felt so happy in my life when i saw him come back and he said mai science padhaya maine kaha are wah ye to kitni badhiya baat hai isse acha aap aap bhi seekhne wale ban gaye to to phir iske barabar kuch hai nahi aur sabse acha tabhi padhaya jabki wo bhi seekh raha tha wo bhi seekh raha tha wo dharti pe barabar baith gaye sab kitabe phail gayi that's what it is so why can't we do it So all the best to you Amukta I have great hopes from you yes. and I have to also take this opportunity of thanking you for giving me the first opportunity to enter this field which was in Mandara I'm honored <laughs> So God bless you and I think I'm also proud of my heritage it has given me some concepts which I can share and every time I share it I pay homage to those thinkers who have done this work